Hi, I'm Meg Johnson and welcome to today's Motivational Minute where I share with you a little, a little trick that maybe can help you through the heart. So if you like this video, go ahead and share it with somebody that you know who's having a hard time or just share it on your social media because it's a pretty good bet that everybody there is having a hard time because we just all are. And so anyway, I want to share with you this one day that I was having a hard day and I was a brand new mom. I mean, my baby was like three or four months old and she was my first baby. I mean, I haven't actually had my second baby yet. She's due pretty soon. Anyway, so I, um, but my husband came home from work and I was like, listen, it's been a hard day. Like I need a break. I need to go shopping. I need to go shopping immediately, you know? And so he's the best husband ever. And so he's like, yeah, go ahead. And so I got in my car and I started driving away out my driveway. And then I was like, oh, you know what? It's a shopping day, but it's also a chocolate day. And so I leaned out the window and I was like, hey, husband, will you please get me one of those chocolate bars with almonds? Because they're just delicious. <laughs> and so he brought it to me and I ate it. I was like, oh, I just ate it all gone uh, before I was out of the driveway. And then I was like, you know what? At the store, I bet I'm going to see somebody else who's having a hard day also. And who's out for a little shopping therapy and who'd like a little chocolate therapy. So I want to bring them some. So I called up my husband and he brought me another chocolate bar. So I'm driving down the road to the store and I'm kind of smiling. I was like, I've got this chocolate bar. I was excited to meet my friend at the store. You know, we're going to have a good laugh about this. And I say a prayer in my heart. I say, Heavenly Father, I have a chocolate bar. Will you please show me who needs it? And then I continue driving. And I feel the Holy Spirit say to me, if you want a good answer, you better say a good prayer. And I was like, oh. Okay, <laughs> I know that we're commanded to pray always, and if you're driving in the car, you can to keep that commandment. Like, we shouldn't close our eyes and bow our heads, because that would be extremely dangerous. But I wasn't in a hurry, so I pulled my car over, locked my doors, folded my arms, and closed my eyes. And I said, Heavenly Father, I'm tired. I, I'm tired. I don't have very much to give you. Um, I'm tired. I'm weary. I'm looking for a little uplift myself. Um, but I still want to serve someone else, but all I have to offer them and you is this chocolate bar with almonds. That's all I have. Will you please show me who needs it because you know better than me who's having a hard day. And with that prayer, I felt confident driving to the store and even more excited to find my friend who was also having a difficult day, who Heavenly Father I, I knew would point out to me. And when I was very close to the store, I passed by a house where that had a porch on it and on the porch were sitting two teenage girls. One had very long red hair and one had very long brown hair. And they both had their heads down with their hair hanging in their face and they were both texting. And they looked, I could just feel the surliness like from the road. They looked just so surly and grumpy. Um, I could just feel it from the car. And um, But as I was looking at them, I felt the Holy Spirit tell me that my chocolate bar was for one of those girls. And I was like, no, no. <laughs> like, Heavenly Father, like remember the store? My friend, the mom, the friend, the store? I was gonna go give it to the store lady, remember? Like, how can I go to this, how can I go to this house and like offer these children candy? Like, isn't there something about how we're supposed to avoid the appearance of evil? Like, I'm not gonna, I, like, how can I, how can I do this? Like, are you sure? Like, this is a chocolate bar with almonds. This is adult candy. This is not for kids. This, I don't have a pixie stick. Like, I was getting really upset. And I, I kept driving, but then I pulled my car over and I was like, Heavenly Father, you have got to be kidding me. Like, I cannot go and offer these kids candy. Like, speak louder. I said, if you really want me to do this, you're going to have to tell me in a big, loud, bad way. Because I can't do this. And then I hear the Holy Spirit say, and I quote, I don't speak loudly. I whisper. I was like, thanks. <laughs> I could tell. Anyway, and I was like, oh my heck. And so with all the courage I could muster, I turned my car around and I drive back to this house that had these two girls sitting on the porch. And I pulled into the driveway and they, they both look up at me, glare at me, and then look back down at their faults. <laughs> And I was in my car and I was like, do to do, I'll just sit here awkwardly until one of you comes. And finally, eventually, the brown haired girl stands up, rolls her eyes at me in a way that I can see from the driveway, um, flicks her long mermaid hair, and then comes down, you know, to see me. She's like, can I help you? Are you lost? And I was like, well, I was just having a hard day this day, and it was kind of a shopping day and a chocolate day, and so I got some chocolate and 
I felt better, and I got another taco bar, and I thought I was going to find a friend who needed it, and I said a little prayer that Holy Father would guide me to somebody who needed it, and he led me to you. And I was, there was no way to like sugarcoat this, you know? And this girl with the brown long mermaid hair, she starts jumping up and down. She's like, no way, no way. And then she calls to the long red haired girl, uh, long, you know, her long red hair. Anyway, she calls to her and she's like, Ariel, come here. <laughs> oh, some things you just can't make up. Anyway, so actually I don't make any of this up. This all really happened. So Ariel comes out and, um, well, down to my car, and she's like surly, you know, we're coming out, we're grumpy. And um, the girl with the brown hair tells her the whole story. This lady was having a hard day, and then she, you know, she she prayed and had this chocolate bar, and then Jesus led her right to you. And Ariel starts jumping up and down. No way, no way. You know, jumping with their hands, you know. And um, apparently, they didn't go into too many details, but Ariel had been having a really hard fight with her mom. And when you're 17 years old, those are the worst. In fact, they're the worst no matter how old you are. And um, um, uh, so I gave her the chocolate bar with almonds and she took it and she, she left and, and I, I continued on my way to the store and I didn't need any more shopping therapy that day. Um, I, I didn't need, I mean, I still went shopping and spent all my husband's money, like, but I didn't need to. I didn't need shopping therapy. I didn't need chocolate therapy. The only therapy that I needed was being an instrument in the hands of the Lord to bless one of his children who was hurting more than me. I mean, I wasn't hurting. I was just weary, but, um, but I was able, but as I was able to bless her life, to bless Ariel's life, and also be an example for her brown-haired friend, you know, like, like, and show them that the Savior is aware of them and sending help to them. Hugo E. Martinez says, and I wrote on my computer, so I'm going to read it over here, to every son or daughter of God, knowing that people are interested in and watching out for his or her welfare is essential. It just feels good to know that not only is Jesus aware of us, but other people are on the Lord's errand, and they're willing to act on those promptings. For today's motivational minutes, I want to tell you um, that even when you and I feel like we have nothing left to offer anyone else, um, that we do. We still do. We still have something. And I think we are sometimes even well, I don't know about more useful, but we're definitely still useful to the Lord when it feels like we have nothing left to offer Him. I didn't have any energy. I didn't have any time. Like, I mean, I guess I had a little bit of time, but I didn't have energy to like go and do this big bad service project. Like, I just didn't have that in me. But I did have a chocolate bar. And I did have a prayer. And it was a good prayer. And I made sure it was a good prayer. And, um, um, I want to share this last quote with you, but my computer just went fuzzy, so I'll get a little bit closer to the screen so you can see. This is D. Todd Christofferson, Elder D. Todd Christofferson. He said, much that is good, much that is essential, even sometimes all that is necessary for now can be achieved in less than ideal circumstances. I think I, and I'm pretty sure maybe you, a lot of you out there, feel like we live in less than ideal circumstances. <laughs> what we have isn't, you know, exactly what we wanted, but we are still useful to the Lord, and we still have a lot to do. And all we have to do is pray and ask. Pray and ask and offer what it is that we have, and Heavenly Father will, will take it. He will take it, and He will use it. Um, and that is my motivational message for you today. Thank you so much for watching. There's more videos here. Click around. Subscribe if you're not already. Come and visit me on Facebook and Instagram. Those links are in the description below. Share this message with those who, who need a little uplift today, who need a little motivation, just like we all need a little motivation every once in a while. So come and visit me on my website. I'd love to see you. I'd love to meet you. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.